Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer here for another episode of Dinosaur King and we are doing D-Team vs the Alpha Fortress, both parts 1 and part 2. Using what dinosaur you ask? Well, oh, I'm sure you'll see from the thumbnail, but let's find out. Yes, yes, we know, yes, it's just, I thought I'd do some actual gameplays, because we haven't done any for a while, mainly because tournaments, I'm more of a tournament kind of guy. <laughs> But yes, as you can see here, we're using Yodoraptor. Yodoraptor. We're using Yodoraptor. You can't, I can't even say it right. It's Utah Raptor. And we're up against a Brachyceratops. Or as Max likes to call it. Brachyceratops. Okay. Maybe not that much. Enemies checking database. You are the DT. Right, you're gonna use a crit first, because I read you like a book. So you got a ninja attack coming. You know what's interesting about the wind moves? I always find that, like, some of them are better suited for the bigger wind dinosaurs, and some of them are better suited for the smaller ones. Like, I feel like something like biting wind suits the bigger dinosaurs better. I don't know if it's just me. And then something like Mayfly or Ninja, Mayfly in particular, probably suits the smaller wind dinosaurs, the, the rat ones. <laughs> okay, what would I say? Actually, yeah, let's go through every wind move individually and see which dinosaur I think would suit them better. Okay, we'll start with Rock. We'll start with Dino Illusion. Okay, Dino Illusion's kind of mixed because it suits both dinosaur types. You got that right, Xander boy. Uh, let's think. Bite in wind, as I said, I think it suits the big, bigger wind dinosaurs better. Uh, jet shuriken, probably the little ones. All right, now for paper, we got tornado toss. Hmm. Oddly enough, I think it suits a bigger dark wind dinosaur. As for me, fly as I said, little dinosaurs. And Sonic Blast? I'd probably go with the big dinosaur, big wind dinosaurs. Alright, now for Skizzers. Okay, Ninja Attack I think works for both of them, to be honest. Again, Cyclone works for both of them. Hurricane Beat probably suits the bigger wind dinosaurs. I don't know if it's just me. Because I'm doing a Let's Play Xander. Honest, honestly, like, how many times are you going to get your butt kicked by me? It's like, why must you interfere with my plans? It's called doing content. Deal with it. Boosh! Okay, yes, on another topic. And this is, well, kind of to do with Dinosaur King, but it's kind of not. It's more to do with Jurassic World Evolution 2. From what I've seen, it looks like we can edit models again. I mean, I don't know how to do it because it's changed. <laughs> and yeah. Being a bit fickle, as, a, as has modern in general been fickle lately. But it looks like we're finally going to get back on track. Also, apparently, we can do new species. Well, it's, it's still testing in progress, as the modern community puts it. But yeah, new species are possible. But I watched the tutorial and it was a bloody two and a half hours. So it was, yeah, um... Probably not going to be a new species for a while. Ugh. Give me a break. I don't think with modding, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing it for Evolution 1. Mainly because the game was dead. You know, it was never getting an update. Rob, I can beat 20 dinosaurs. With my bare hands. So shut up. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's just become so fickle, and that's mainly to do with the fact that Evolution 2 is still updating, stuff like that, so things have changed. It happens. So yeah, it's, I enjoyed it a lot more for Evolution 1 than I am for Evolution 2. But, hopefully, when Evolution 2 dies, the frontier will bugger off and leave, mo leave the modding community alone. Wait, what? I thought it was scissors! You little bugger! Oh, oh, he didn't do any damage anyway. <laughs> it's Uteraptor's defense type, by the way. 
your opponent thinks you are going to use scissors. Yeah, you're right. They're very, a very popular di seems to be a very popular dinosaur in my tournaments. People seem to like using them. I like to see why. Slippy, slippy, slap. And I expect when my tournament starts next year, I, I expect Utahraptor to be in several teams again. Unless I ban it. Yes. When you give up, you little woman. Oh, 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 I'm going to taste my own medicine, yeah? Come on, Utahraptor, you can take it. Wait. Oh, no, I thought the sound was gone. Ooh, nice, we got Dino Illusion to protect us. Hmm. Right, that was definitely paper. And this Mutaburosaurus is definitely dead. Oh no, he did anticipate, damn it! <laughs> but we got the Dino Illusion to protect us. Wait, I'm actually loose. I need to get my game face on. This has just been so easy, it's just getting Careful. complacent. Ah, good to know, Reese. You give me such lovely hints in this game mode. Mwah. Boosh! Yes. Yeah, I pulled it off! No, Max. I pulled it off. Enjoy your little win. I will enjoy my big win. Alright. We we, uh, we see Zoe, but let's be honest, no one cares. Skip. Ooh, we got Sign Raptor. Actually, maybe I should use a different dinosaur for part two. Or should I sit with Utahraptor? No, no, because then Utahraptor can come back for Dr. Z. I'm sure I'll think of something. Okay, we got a Rhinoceratops as well. Ah, classics. Let's get this battle started. Say goodbye. Kick you, kick you. Bye bye. Your opponent thinks you are going to use scissors. Should we give Parasaurolophus some time in the spotlight? Nah. <laughs> Boosh. Slippy, 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 slap, slap, slip, slap, slip, slap, slap, stick, boosh. Slap, slip, slap, stick, sign raptor. Oh, oh man. Something's not right here. Okay, got Colby straight, so I don't miss again. And that was paper, pretty sure it was paper. Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> I was gonna use Gone Wanna Titan, I forgot you can't use got you can't use Gone Wanna Titan here. As much as you love to use Gone Wanna Titan, you can't use it. I don't know why I clicked paper, but there we go. Oh, do you have to use haste? That's such a scut that's such a trollsy move. It's it's like the cheapest move in the game. That's why I ban it from my tournaments, it's so cheap and stupid. Alright, Parasaurolophus, you're getting some spotlight. Little damage. Oh, what would suit, what would suit the theme of this video with Utahraptor? And don't say Dynonicus. Look out! Your opponent's trying to fool you into thinking a critical move is coming. Good to know, Reese. Yay! Yay! I mean, Zoe's kind of the star of this battle. You've got to use Parasaurolophus. Alright, that should be it. Oh, come on! <laughs> okay, okay, this hit will be it. <gasps> they call my bluff. Dun, dun, dun. We did it, Max. You, you mean, Zoe. you mean, I know, no, Zoe, I did it. We should have had him. Yeah, you should have had him. Oh, well. Right, on to part two now. Alrighty then. Okay, even though it literally has no relation to Utahraptor other than the fact that it comes from the same continent as it, we're using Brachyceratops. 
I don't know why we're using Brachiceratops, but we are. Terrific. Oh, actually, no, I got an idea. These two would, have fe would feature in the Tiny Terrors video tournament if it wins the vote. But I, from what I've seen, it's probably not going to win the vote. Although it's pretty close. But so far, it's catching Clash in the lead. So keep keep them votes coming, guys. Keep them votes coming. Make sure you have your say. Hey, you don't underestimate this little fella. Boosh. He may be small, but he's got a big ego. Oh, yes, we did it. Oh, we should have the Blitz type effect as well, because this guy's Blitz type. Which is absolute garbage in my tournaments, but it's not actually not too bad. Oh, yeah, look at that. Boop, boop, boop. Expect a different move from last time. Nah, oh, damn it. Something's not right here. Why Blitz type is useless in my tournament is because you have to hit the button on 10, and that's, with the random number generator, that's never going to happen. However, with some changes that I have planned in the making, you know, it might be possible. Maybe Blitz type will be viable. Ooh, I love, I love teasing you guys with changes for my tournament. <laughs> Hype you all up. And then I'll turn around and be like, no tournament. Don't worry, I'll never do that. There will be a tournament in 2023. Don't worry. It's in my head. Well, actually, I'm, I'm itching to do it now. I will say it. I am itching to do it now. But I will restrain myself from one Leave to one to tournament per year. And I've already done one for 2022. So I'm going to have to wait till 2023. Oh yeah? Well, bad old ladies get big fat beating from Bratty Ceratops. You little brat, how dare you? Okay, we hit the button on 10, and we got the diving press, and we got the quick strike. Let's see how much damage this does. And Bratty Ceratops is quite balanced, so his crit isn't that much more powerful. Oh, we killed her. Yeah, I tested Blitz type. The damage buff is is worse than things like heroic type, counter type, crisis type, stuff like that. Mainly because Blitz type is probably a lot more easier to get off. You just hit the button on ten, hope you win, happy days. There's the capsule. Again, that's a, that's that's also the reason why Quick Strike sees zero play in my tournaments because you need to hit the button on ten. But again, I am working on solutions. So hopefully, Quick Strike will be somewhat viable. Ooh, Sorolophus. Let's get this battle started. Sorry, but you're going down. Watch out. Don't use scissors. Super duper super move! Hmm. Oh, look at him, he's so tiny! Get it, Bratty Ceratops! I think it is actually the smallest lightning dinosaur in the game. Look out! Bratty Ceratops, you're a champ of all champs. Okay, uh, let's try scissors. Oh man. Oh, see, the, the, the blitz type doesn't work here when that happens, or after a tie. Do anything, love. Oh no, that's bad. That's an egg attack. Although this is only Blitz type, so it shouldn't do too much damage, but Bratty Ceratops is quite a bit of a glass cannon. Oh bloody hell, that was a decent amount of damage. Oh no, the power is gonna get hit. Blitz. I 
Hello, Tay Bomb. Let's go, Peeper. Ah, oh, damn it. I risked it for the biscuit. Okay, okay, he's dead. Brave Ceratops, getting off our lightning spear. And now, it's on to the big bad doc, Dr. Z. Boosh. That's two losses in a row. That's because you suck. Yes, yes, Rex is okay. Probably got back spasms from crouching down for a... Many hours, but Dr. you know. Show yourself. Never mind. <laughs> All right, what are we up against? Swipe a dinosaur card. Time to swipe Rex's dinosaur card. Ooh, that's not good for the Brachyceratops. It's Kentrosaurus, the Alpha Kentrosaurus. <laughs> and of course, as as it always is, it's Alpha Allosaurus. Which is basically a placeholder in this story and doesn't really matter. Because if you re listen to the dialogue, you only see. If you see the cutscene, you only see the Kendrosaurus. You don't see the Allosaurus at all. It's literally there for the sake of it. Which I don't get because. You can literally have it, like, you can literally do a 2v1. I, I mean, Goma proves that it works. You just make the Kendrosaurus super powered, like the, the Yotarkaria, and then have it revive when it gets defeated. Or, or just make it, like, really, really tanky to beat. I mean, it's a super powered alpha dinosaur, but it dies it's so quick. Oh, here we go. This should be good. A lightning, lightning spear, blitz type effect, and the quick strike, which might, even with a type disadvantage, kill it. Oh yeah, dead and buried. And now you, Dracula, can come in to finish the job. So I mean, this is. All right, let's go, Paper. It just, it just feels a bit quick. But like, they could have made it like really super power. Oh no, that's not good. No, that would be a cool secret battle mode. If you act, if you had to battle Seth and his Black T Rex, that would have been a really cool battle mode. But you make the Black T Rex act. Well, I don't know if you can make it humongous, but you can make it like... Wait, what? He went scissors again? Well, Uteraph is dead. You can make it like really, really big. Not too big, so it doesn't fit on the screen, but big enough. And you have like a free... You could do like a free versus one. Go on, we'll swap out. Uteraph deserves a break. Yeah, you can literally have the 3v1 situation. So it'd basically be like the Goma fight, but with black T-Rex. And then maybe have, when it dies once, it comes back, and then all its moves transform into death fire. That'd be really cool. I mean, I don't know how you would beat it, but this would still be cool. And it would give black T-Rex presence in the arcade game, because it has zero presence. It, like. The, the arcade game renounces his existence. So yeah, it would have, would, that would be a really cool like game mode. You mean I'm unbeatable? Stand back, guys. Well, that, that's that's that. Right. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment. What dinosaur would like me to do a gameplay of next? And until then. This is Strainer Gamer, signing out.